Hello, welcome to another toneless landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and welcome as well to Day 6 Past Masters Series Volume 2. I might drop the Volume 2 at some point, but hey, we like to be clear. Um, and just to be clear, when I say it's a toneless landscape oil painting demonstration, that means that these are not exactly designed to be instructional videos. They are basically me just sharing my painting process. Now, that said, I'm always happy to help people out that have questions. Um, and I certainly don't mind if uh, people learn from my videos or uh, want to make copies after my my paintings or the paintings of the masters that's all good but I'm not actually here to do instructional videos I just want to make that clear because um, I don't know I thought it was clear but it's a demonstration it's a oil painting demonstration uh, which has uh, instructive properties as a matter of fact if you learn like I learn, which is through insight and ideas, um, I'd have to say in any given video I probably impart at least five really good insights um, uh, through the course of just rambling. And that's the other thing, the, the talking portion of the video, it's really just me rambling, folks. I mean, now that's not to say at some point where I wouldn't do more instructional type stuff. I, you know, I have some plans and some things I'd like to do. Um, but, you know, you only have so many hours in a day, and so most of my time is spent uh, painting or, these days, messing around with my music and stuff. And, uh, you know, um, I would like to get into some more instructional stuff, but because that is actual work, um, you know, it needs to be probably compensated. <laughs> I like to be compensated for doing paintings as well, but let's face it, I'd probably do paintings whether I was getting paid to or not. Um, you, you hope when you do a painting just to do it at a professional level and uh, to create something that people would be willing to part with their cash for. Um, but that is a process actually, you're not probably your first uh, paintings you ever do aren't going to be like that and um, it takes a while I think to get good enough to uh, be at a point where the um, the marketplace will um, desire and purchase your work. Now that said, I've been selling work on a pretty regular basis since 2010, but um, yeah, not in the sort of quantities I'd like. I'll tell you that. Uh, but you know, actually, it's been gaining steam. It's been getting better every year. But it, that the, what is that? Eight years we're talking about before now. This this year finally, I'm kind of getting a pretty good um, uh, track record with sales so and I've done quality work all the way through I have to say that I think the work I'm doing now is the best work of my um, of my career and that's as it should be I mean if you're not doing the best work uh, if your work now is not better than your work in the past um, maybe you, you took a wrong turn along the way or or you know who knows I, I don't know I can't psychoanalyze people I don't know but you get what I'm saying hopefully. Today is July 1st, 2018, and it's a Sunday, my day off. Been out uh, doing some grocery shopping and stuff, and uh, I made sure to do the prep video um, for this uh, painting last night. Now this is uh, a video by Jules Dupree, probably should have mentioned that a little sooner, <laughs> Landscape by Moonlight, and this appears to be an older painting of his. The style is a bit more stuffy than some of his later stuff, but in fact it has a feeling like um, the old masters to it. It has that kind of dark brownish uh, quality, although I will say Dupree was not really into painting real bright colorful work. Uh, quite a lot of his stuff is, you know, kind of moody, I guess be a good way to put it dark you know um, which is I think a good thing um, it's but well it's a good thing if it's a good painting a dark 
painting is, uh, you know, it's dark for darkness sake. I, I wouldn't say it would be a good thing, but, you know, that's where a reflection of um, what you're seeing, what you're trying to get across, it's always, I think, pretty valuable. Now, uh, what's happened in the studio this week? I did, uh, I actually did a few little figurative things. I think I mentioned that, uh, and I might share some of those in this channel. I might have to mark them as adult content because these are nude figures so we'll have to see we're gonna play that bay area they're gonna be a little while before they're in the the uh, photography pipeline anyway so maybe a month or so but i have noticed like i did this um, a lot more of course struggle um, to do uh, figurative things and um but um, and, and I'd say the one I did yesterday, I, I felt like I was definitely overworking it, and uh, which is something I tend not to do in my landscape paintings because I, I've done so many of them, I just know, you know. But um, you're trying to get a light effect across on the figure or something like that. Eh, um, I don't have uh, the breadth of experience. I do have a lot of experience drawing people and a real good feel for anatomy, um, which does help. But, um, yeah, it's been real fun, actually. And I have to say that, you know, uh, having so much um, to put out, so much effort to do something, and then doing a landscape afterwards, it was like, um, you know, I, I was floating, basically. It was just like, pew, you know, it just, uh, and that painting came out really, really good. It was a uh, 5 by 10 and uh, I'll be, uh, have to say of a reference that I've had for a while that I don't think was particularly strong, but I I had an idea about how I was going to actually how I was going to approach these leafless trees, which is always a challenge. And uh, I have to say the um, what I came up with uh, that was yesterday as well. I'm really happy with it. Really, really, really stoked with it. And. Um, yeah, I guess in brief what I'd say is I just treated them as shapes, you know, with um, variations of grays, you know, and purples and uh, and uh, real muddy greens and, and real muddy rust tones and things like that. And uh, the painting looks great. Now, w would that scale up to, it was a 5 by 10 inch painting, I mean, I don't know if it would scale up to, you know, a 20 by 40 or something like that. But um, it'd be interesting to find out. And uh, my new studio, they laid the concrete down. So it's actually now starting to resemble a space. You can see at least the floor space. Uh, there were some little residual cement walls there because it used to be bays in this quarry where they would store uh, stones. And so, um, uh, there you can get a kind of sense how it's gonna it, it gonna shape up and um, I always bring it up when I talk about the size of work because I have um, for a long time intended to start doing some larger work when I had a larger space and it looks like that's going to be in the offing and I've started to look into um, things like stretching canvas and stuff I'm not sure that the uh, the masonite boards lend themselves that well to larger uh, pieces, although they might. We'll have to see. Uh, I'm gonna try some different things um, and go from there. I mean, the attraction of canvas, of course, is I can put it on the stretcher bar. I can take it off the stretcher bar. I can, you know, uh, store it under. Uh, well, I hear that you can't store paintings rolled for any real length of time, but uh, we'll see. It's all gonna be fun and interesting to find out and uh, it'll also be fun and interesting to find out uh, whether the marketplace which uh, the galleries have been clamoring for larger things forever um, whether they'll back up those uh, back up that clamoring with um, a bunch of sales and I can see how that could be the case because a lot of times when people are out shopping for a painting they want something over the sofa or over the mantle um, my paintings basically are designed to go on auxiliary walls or in groupings with uh, other paintings by myself or other artists and uh, I will be getting around by the way to videotaping that uh, the show that's up probably sometime before it comes down in about uh, nine days um, you'll see that whole show is comprised of groupings and it looks really good it looks awesome so 
Um, what else is going on? Uh, like I said, the figure of stuff, real challenge, but really rewarding too. It's like uh, it's helping my landscape painting. So um, I, I've had now. I guess the last thing I would mention is like if you follow the channel for any length of time you probably notice if I talk about something it will happen at some point in time I'm not the kind of person who just daydreams and uh, I have uh, had uh, plans for doing some um, figurative uh, studies for quite a while so I finally just was able to get a, a click into it and get something to work and what that is is just basically grayscale and I'm playing with the idea of doing some glazing and stuff on them and uh, we'll see how that goes anyway new subscribers thank you for subscribing to my channel and old subscribers thank you for staying around I love it I think it's great I hope you uh, and I do know that I think there's lots of value to be had for my channel it may not be uh, everything that uh, you're looking for in a one-stop shop but uh, you know there's a lot of value there especially if you hunker down and really spend some time uh, going through the vast catalog of videos that I've made available all for free yay anyway um, if you like this video please click like and if you haven't subscribed why don't you do that too and then be sure and click that little bell so you get notified when I uh, put one of these bad boys up anyway I'll be back real soon with another video meanwhile please take good care of yourself and your family all your loved ones and friends and stay out of trouble